Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another original art video. If you guys remember a few videos ago, I was telling you about the Comic Art Live event. And one of the cool things they had was this mystery sketch opportunity. Basically, they got a bunch of professional comic book artists from around the world to take part in this. Uh, I don't recall how many artists there were, but there were some from the Philippines, from the US, from Brazil, other places as well. And people could sign up and purchase a sketch not knowing who they were gonna get. The size of the art was supposed to be nine by 12 and the commissioner could request a certain character. Uh, everything else was completely up to chance. And since I'm such a big Wolverine collector, I thought it would be fun if I requested Wolverine three different times with three different artists and do an unboxing today and show you guys what I got. So all the artists were randomly selected once all the requests came in. And uh, I actually happened to get two from the same rep, uh, which is 4C Comics. I follow them on Facebook and YouTube. They do a lot of sketch events on their channel and I follow the artists they represent as well. So there's a good chance I've already seen what's in here. I just don't know if that was mine when I saw it. But we have two from them and then we have Next Comic Art. Uh, Jiggy over there in the Philippines has a great group of artists. And uh, I also saw a bunch of those sketches as well when they did their uh, live stream. But I'm not sure which one I got, so it's still gonna be a surprise. So I wanna hear what you guys think about these pieces. This is not a competition by any means amongst the artists. As we know, art is very subjective, so what one person likes doesn't mean another person is gonna like it as well. But I'm sure I'm gonna love all of these because my main goal in collecting all these different Wolverine pieces is to get the various takes of the different artists. And I just love seeing what different artists have to add to this character. So I'm very anxious to add these pieces to my collection. So without further ado, let's open this up. Okay, so I switched to the overhead view to give you guys a better look at this stuff. So we'll start off with this one. Again, this one is from 4C Comics. I think they had four or five different artists from their roster participate. This is my first time doing a mystery commission like this. Kind of fun and interesting. We have some cardboard. Looks like this one got a little bent up here. I wish they would have used slightly bigger cardboard. Right now the cardboard is pretty much the same exact size, if not a little smaller than the actual art. So it doesn't do the best job at protecting. Let's go ahead and undo the tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the bag. It's always more interesting to look at it without the glare. And here is a look at the first piece. Bam! <laughs> so this one, just as I thought, this one was done by Aranga D. I am a big fan of his. I follow him on Instagram. He does some awesome uh, quick draws on there. Seems like a very friendly guy. Hope to meet him someday. Uh, so I'm very glad to get one of his Wolverines in my collection. He actually was drawing this during their live stream. So it was very cool to see him working on this live. Uh, at the time, he hadn't added in uh, the little ink wash background here, which uh, gives a very cool effect. Kind of makes him pop out a little bit. Kind of got this profile look, both claws out. Kind of a mid-action, maybe standing on something here. So my assumptions were correct. I think they posted four of the artists' work online, and this was the only Wolverine there. So I had a good feeling that this was mine when I saw it pop up. However, I didn't see another Wolverine in that grouping, which by process of elimination led me to believe that my other Wolverine coming from 4C was none other than from Bill Morrison. He's widely known for his work on The Simpsons. I wonder if this piece will have sort of that Simpsonized flair to it. But uh, whether or not he goes more traditional or Simpson route, I'll be fine either way. He actually did a bunch of work for Disney as well. Let's go in and see if I am correct. If I'm not, it means that somebody else made a Wolverine and didn't post it. Or maybe there is another mystery artist involved. Got to be careful cutting this, especially if the uh, board isn't fully covering the art. All right, kind of the same story here. We got a few little dings and bends in there, but you know, it's nice when the, uh, the art comes pristine, but this isn't like a comic book where it drastically reduces the value if you get a little nick here and there. 
Got that out of the plastic. Here is Wolverine number two. Oh, it's upside down. Bam, and there it is. It is from Bill Morrison. So very cool. So he didn't go crazy Simpson on this one, which is fine with me. Still an action-packed Wolverine. Some nice clean lines there. There was a Wolverine piece that he did that I saw. It was actually a recreation, uh, kind of a Simpsonized recreation of the Captain America annual where Wolverine is fighting Captain America, um, kind of slicing down on the shield, classic Mike Zek cover. In that one, he did kind of do the whole Simpson thing to both Wolverine and Cap. But uh, here's a more traditional kind of look at Wolverine, but still in that Bill Morrison style. Some very nice, clean inking there. So very excited that I have a Bill Morrison Wolverine in the collection. Uh, he probably doesn't get too many requests to do Wolverine. At least I don't think he does. Probably gets the, the Simpsons a lot more, but uh, very cool. All right, so now we'll move on to piece number three. This one's coming from Next Comic Arts in the Philippines. I believe they ship these all to Bill Cox, who runs Comic Art Live, and he shipped them out. I appreciate the oversized Masonite here. He actually unboxed a lot of the pieces from Next Comic Art. So uh, there were two Wolverines that came over from Jiggy. I just don't know which of the two I got. And uh, both of them were amazing, so either one, I'll be happy. All right, so we're gonna slide this one out. Here we go, the third and final Wolverine piece coming from Next Comic Art, and it is, bam, this one right here. This one was actually the first one that he showed. Both were completely different takes. The other one was a more humorous take on Wolverine, which uh, I'm looking for as well, but I love this. This, is, this looks great. And this is by Harvey Tolobau. Sorry if I'm not getting that right. I was really excited when I saw this over on the live stream, uh, thinking that I might get this one. You can see all the detail there in the claws, in the metal there, all the arm hair. He's got the uh, large cowl, really like coming at you, Wolverine. But again, some crazy backgrounds as well that kind of add to the action. This one's done in very detailed pencils, so no ink on this one. For me, tight pencils are just as good as fully inked pieces. But awesome work there by Harvey. So uh, let me lay them all out here. We got three different Wolverines, three different styles, and that's really what I wanted. I wanted a variety, and to kind of show off their individual styles and what they can add to this character. I think each one has a lot to offer. Some people like super detailed images, some people like clean lines, some people like simplicity. I happen to like it all. It just depends on what mood I'm in, and uh, I like flipping through the book and seeing different things. I think that's one of the things I really love about art, whether it's traditional, digital, 2D, 3D, uh, it all has that same effect on me. But one thing I will say is it has to be created by a human hand. The AI stuff is nice to look at, but if you really want to call it art, I think it needs to be done by a human. At least the art I want to collect anyway. So uh, leave me a comment down below letting me know which of these pieces was your favorite. Again, not trying to make a competition out of this. Just want to get your thoughts on things. So thank you, Harvey, Bill, and Aranga, the guys over at Next Comic Art and 4C Comics. Also a big thank you to Bill Cox over at Comic Art Live and for everything he does with the channel and for running the Comic Art Fans website, for putting all this stuff together, uh, shipping out these things. He really does an amazing job. If you guys haven't checked out the Comic Art Live channel, make sure to do that. You can learn a lot about comic art, a lot about the hobby, but that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.